India has the largest cotton acreage in the world. About 40% of the world's area under cotton cultivation is in India with 12.5 to 13.5 million hectares. The state of Maharashtra harvests more cotton than the entire African continent. Cotton serves as a livelihood for approximately 6 million farmers in India. The Indian textile industry is the second largest employer after agriculture with over 45 million direct and 60 million indirect employees. The textile and garment industry contribute 14% to the total industrial production of India. However, cotton is primarily grown by smallholder farmers with less than 2 hectares of land. Many farmers and their families face challenges related to low productivity and increasing cost of production such as for fertilizers and pesticides. In fact, 65% of India's cotton is produced in Rhineved agriculture and therefore vulnerable to the effects of climate change. Progressing soil erosion and the loss of biodiversity are threatening farmers' livelihoods further. मैं तो खेती कर रहा छः साल से कर रहा दुई हेक्टर मान तापस लगाया तो कहीं नहीं निकलो जमीन भी हल्की है और पानी का समस्या और कापस भी कहीं नहीं दो कुंटल भी नहीं निकलो कहीं नहीं निकलो पानी का समस्या और ये बीमारी भी ज़्यादा जंतु पड़ गया कीड़ा वो खा गया The cotton sector is highly fragmented and lacks effective communication and coordination between the actors of primary cotton production and the downstream processing stage. Only a small portion of the entire cotton production and supply chains has adopted internationally recognized sustainability standards or adequate quality management standards is needed under the sustainability standard regimes. The GIZ Global Program, Sustainability and Value Added in Agricultural Supply Chains in India aims to increase the value addition from sustainable cotton production and to strengthen domestic supply chains for processing sustainable cotton. We work in four states, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu and Madhya Pradesh. In collaboration with global and national textile companies, standard organizations and local partners, the project strengthens efficient, climate resilient and local resource-based organic cotton production. Under this project, we are trying to touch upon various aspects of our supply chain to improve the extension and advisory services with capacity building measures to farmers so that they can uh, uh, avail uh, best package of practices and knowledge on the same. Uh, the second part is on the input where one important aspect is the seed. In case of organic supply chains, the farmers are facing great difficulty to access good quality non-GM cotton seeds. And under this project, we are trying to support the existing research which RMI Biore is doing on uh, producing and developing uh, non-GM cotton seeds. And this project brings in uh, support infrastructures in, in terms of uh, seed multiplication, uh, GMO testing and storing the seeds uh, in a uh, uh, in a germplasm storage. I mean, this year, I passed a couple of things. Couple of things are there. City, Madhya. त्यामुळे आम्हाला काही काही याच्यामध्ये खूप घाटा येते कपाशीमध्ये आता चार वर्ष झाले आम्ही वेल्समन कंपनीला जुळला आहे त्यामुळे वेल्समन कंपनीचे लोक आमच्याकडे येतात अधिकारी येतात कापूसाबद्दल आम्हाला माहिती सांगतात की केव्हा फवारणी करायची केव्हा खत द्यायचं किती द्यायचं किती प्रमाण ठेवायचं त्याचं किती फवारण्या करायच्या किती अंतरावर पराटी लावायची किती बियाणं वापरायचं किती फवारणी करायची डोस किती द्यायचे औषधीचे किंवा खताचं आणि पाणी कमी लागते 
याच्याप्रमाणे ते सांगत असतात आता आम्हाला मागच्या चार वर्षाच्या आधी खूप बोंडळी आली होती त्याच्यामुळे आम्हाला उत्पन्न कमी होत होतं आता चार वर्षापासून आम्ही वेलसन कंपनीला मिळलो त्यामुळे आम्हाला त्यांनी रासायनिक खतं कोणती वापराचे युरिया सुपला कोणता द्यायचा पराटीला फवारणी कोणती द्यायची त्यांनी सांगितलं त्याच्यामुळे आम्हाला बराचसा फायदा झाला आणि पहिलेपेक्षा आता जास्त आम्हाला उत्पन्न पण होत आहे आणि फवारणीचा खताचा खर्च कमी झाला आहे आमचा चैलेंजेस यदि हम देखें तो फार्मर्स के सामने इंसेक्ट का चैलेंजेस काफ़ी बड़ा था साथ में लोकली अवेलेबल हर्ब्स हैं और बॉटनिकल आइटम्स हैं उनसे कैसे अपने इनपुट्स बना सके फार्मर्स इसके लिए प्रेरणा ने एक विलेज बेस्ड इनपुट प्रोडक्शन सेंटर प्लम कम ट्रेनिंग सेंटर बनाए और हमने ये इनिशिएटिव इसीलिए स्टार्ट किया कि ये इनपुट प्रोडक्शन सेंटर्स इनिशिएटिव्स फार्मर्स को लोकली लोकली प्रैक्टिकल ट्रेनिंग अवेलेबल करा सके सो so दैट वो अपना प्रैक्टिकली प्रायोगिक रूप से अपना ऑर्गेनिक इनपुट्स अपने ऑन फार्म पर बना सके Vespan Foundation, in collaboration with the Wadwani Institute for Artificial Intelligence, we come up with one cotton S applications, where which, which works on the technology of artificial intelligence. Our farmers are using these applications to monitor and to detect the level of infestations of the pink bollworm and American bollworm. These applications giving the right decision to the farmers and, uh, to, uh, and giving the proper recommendations to how to control that pink bollworm infestations. Our recent study carried out to analyze this impact shows that there is a 12% increase in the yield and at the same time there is a 10% reduction in the cost of cultivations by reducing the chemical sprays. Last but not the least, we are using the source race applications where uh, we are geotagging all our farm fields and their farm boundaries into our system. So it helps us uh, to trace the uh, the fields from where our cotton is coming uh, at the same time our field team is uh, putting all the farm data into these applications from land preparation to the harvesting and the marketing so this data helps us to monitor and to evaluate the impact of our interventions कंपनी जब खरीदती है तो उसमें हमारे को जो एक्सपेंसेस लगते हैं वो नहीं लगते दूसरों की तुलना में कि ये घर से इनकी सब व्यवस्थाएं कर देते हैं किसान के घर से कंपनी ले जाती है और जो भी उत्पादन हुआ है उसका पर क्विंटल कुछ प्रीमियम या बोनस का है वो एक प्रोत्साहन राशि के रूप में जो मिलती है तो वो जो एवरेज नहीं मिल पाता दूसरों किसानों की तुलना में वो उसकी बराबरी कर देता है We do not only work on the farm level but along the supply chain. Introducing innovations in the sector, we do promote global knowledge transfer. Together with the World Bank and in collaboration with Indian industry associations and textile companies, the reuse of wastewater from textile processing is promoted through the introduction of trading certificates. Partnering with renowned universities including RWTH Aachen, University of Augsburg and Niederrhein University of Applied Sciences, the project aims to improve technical equipment and occupational safety in ginning mills. So far, we have supported 240,000 smallholder farmers for sustainable cotton production under global cotton standards, the Better Cotton Initiative, Fair Trade Standards and Organic Cotton. 
and we are highly motivated to continue our work to promote sustainability and value added in agricultural supply chains in India. When you as a consumer buy a towel, think about the questions, where is the cotton coming from? How is it produced? The project approach works from the shelf to the field, starting with the consumer along the supply chain to the producer. It aims to establish direct market linkages for the project farmers and integrate them into internationally recognized standards for supply chain transparency and integrity.